In order to experience the symptoms of cancer, you typically need to have at least 1 billion cancer cells already. That typically means that it's already too late to intervene at earlier stages, and an individual has a growing cancer at an accelerated pace. Proactive cancer screening allows us to now be able to catch cancers anywhere from having just a few hundred cancer cells to half a million cancer cells. This is much less and much easier to cure than one would experience with a billion cancer cells. Join Dr. Lewandowski from Preventive Medicine and Cancer Care in Denver, Colorado, as he explains how cancer manifests in the body. Let's talk about really what we ought to do with detecting cancer and, and why old paradigms don't work and why the rates are what they are. So typically, the way we screen for something is would, you know, would be equivalent to a dilapidating car, right? So say you don't want to do maintenance and you're just going to wait for your engine to start failing, making horrible noises, squeaking, and you, then you take them to the mechanic and you say, oh, you know, you've got, what, 75,000 miles, uh, you forgot to uh, change your oil since, since the dealers and you need, to re you need to now replace the engine. Which is okay if you have a vehicle, but if that's your body, then you're in, you know, you're not doing well. Um, but that's what we used to do. There was an apathy in the medical community as far as screening, right? So what we say, you know, you have symptoms, you come into your physician and they start looking for stuff. So how good are we when symptoms happen? So if someone has symptoms of cancer, um, it means that there is enough of a burden of cancer cells to cause the symptoms, and what's that burden? So typically cl clinical symptoms, so if this is no cancer and this is symptomatic amount of cancer, one needs to have about a billion cells for symptoms to hit. A billion cells for deadly cancers, like say lung cancer, prostate cancer, means that you have an overwhelmingly high chance of that cancer having spread. You're behind. If it's, if it's you know, early prostate cancer, then you typically are okay, unless you aren't. So we can certainly do better, and we can lower the threshold of detection to about half a million cells. That's about the limit where scans can, can uh, detect cancer, so 20-fold reduction, which is great. You know, we can certainly, uh, in the smart way, institute screening modalities and imaging and say, okay, we can detect cancer much earlier, um, but can we do better nowadays? And for sure we can. We have novel biomarkers and, um, and certain circulating tumor cells that, uh, that, that cancer secretes that we can detect when someone's at a few hundred cells. So we go from half a million to a few hundred cells. It's a total game changer. And that is really becoming the standard and will be the standard really within five to 10 years. It's just, it, it takes us as a medical community a while to catch on. And this is possible because we're entering the age of precision medicine. It sounds like a sexy term, what is precision medicine? You're like, what is that? And it's, um, it, it's really based off of the human genome track. But we have over a thousand tumor suppressor gene, uh, genes, and we don't have to say, well, I'm only going to look at this one or this one or that one. I'm going to look at all of them. I'm going to look at your genetic makeup in aggregate and see what the risk factors actually playing out to be. And I can do this.